Well, next tonight, a troubling story. A Niagara Falls family is in mourning after losing their beloved family pet. And now the search is on for the suspect who police say beat this puppy to death. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller spoke with the devastated owner. I, I didn't think letting her out that day she would never be here again. The Cummings family in Niagara Falls thought nothing of letting their seven-month-old Siberian Husky out in the backyard to get some fresh air on the morning of March 20th. But about 30 minutes later... He went to look by the window. Usually he can see her. Um, he didn't see her. He didn't hear her. So he went to her to go back out the back door and he seen a man standing next to her. Melissa Cummings says the man was standing in her private backyard right by the dog and then he took off. But something was wrong with Sky. She was limping. So he carried her inside. He laid her down. Ten minutes later, she stopped breathing. Sky was gone. In an effort to find out what happened, Cummings drove Sky's lifeless body three hours away to Cornell University for a necropsy. Paperwork shows Sky died from severe blunt force trauma. Lungs were collapsed, hemorrhaging. Her liver was hemorrhaged. Um, they said she was struck multiple times, but they weren't sure by what object. Niagara Falls police are currently investigating this dog's death. Officers say they're looking for a white male, about six foot one, between 35 and 45 years old. He has dirty blonde hair, according to officers, and they say at the time of the crime, he was wearing brown colored boots and a black jacket. This family says they'd never seen him before. For this family, nothing will bring back their family dog. The biggest question though, why did this happen? She listened, she was a really good girl. She was loving. She was just a family dog. If you have any information on this crime, you're asked to contact the Niagara Falls Police Department. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.